It's like a place right out of a storybook. Alright, what's going on, guys? Um, yeah, so we are back letting the game kind of figure itself out right now. Um, I guess we're going to do this herbology bullshit. Maybe we'll learn another spell. I keep getting new gear. Is this helpful? Oh, that's a big boost. Ah, oh, look at you. All right, we are back for another amazing game of uh, Hogwarts Legacy here. And again, I got to wait for it to load a little bit because nice I have this you, my saved. Young friend. Who the hell? Oh, it's that lady. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get ourselves into here. It's asking me to go... Hold on. How the hell does that make any sense? Hogwarts map. Alright. We need to go here. Herbology. So... We can open this up, and I haven't gone there yet, it looks like. So I haven't been to any of these places. I can go here, to the central hall. So we're going to fast travel there. And from the central hall, we will make our way downtown. Walking. Okay. So we're here. Just to walk forward. Gonna run down. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of plants. A lot of different types of plants. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Could have just done that. But it's alright. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Professor Lenore, Garlic. Dear. Oh, here. You'll need these. Oh, innovative. Uh, mm. um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. All right, sweet. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, it's gonna be screaming in my ear. Fuck. Let's do it. That was fucking wild. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off 
you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Can I talk to random people right now? I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in... Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. All right, so yes, there's randomness. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I will know. You can all get started. All right. I need to have a brief word with her. Mm. Let's talk to her real quick. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love dealing with crazy it fucking you're already taking to her plants talking like to a me. Mandrake to or screaming soil. at me. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have Sweet. some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's All right. see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, okay. Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Cool. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, oh, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. I'm gonna collect all this shit. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbage into it, and they'll do the rest. Attack the dummy with the chomping cabbage. Okay, now what? Hold and then use the wheel to assign, then use your assigned tool. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Can I pick it up? The de -gnoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. 
The kind of plants that have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. <laughs> Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were. <laughs> I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I mean... Is there anything up here? Just grab everything we can. For potions later. All the potions. All the potions. Uh, there's this shit. Um, hold on. Oh, that's it. Okay. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Cool beans. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. It just says to live as a student. All right, we're going to live as a student real quick, I guess. The things about these quests are like, I don't mind going on these scavenger hunts, but at the same time, they're not going to really do much right now because we don't have access to the whole area. Okay, do I just wait? I'll wait for the door to open. There we go. Wait, hold the fuck on. How the, how the hell did I end up so far away? Oh, it's all the way here. And I don't have anything here? I have this. I could have just gone here. We're going there. <sighs> it's, it's not the game, it's my fault. I'm not as intuitive with this uh, UI system here, but I'm going to get used to it. All right, here we are. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. 
Accio. Incendio. Levioso. All right. That's one right there. That was pretty good. All right, that was two. Hit. Do I not have enough juice for this? There we go. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Live as a student, it says. Shit. Do I have anything in my gear? Nothing. Quests. Potion class. Attend potion class. We'll attend the potion class right now, it seems. Potions, potions. Who doesn't love a good potion? Potions were great. They all said it was great. They all said the potions were great. Potions were wonderful. The potions were asking me to make more potions. They loved it. Alright. That was another page out of the way right there. Pretty sweet. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? That I took it all right down. Someone from the ministry guarding the school. How is this the, the location of the painting? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look oh, completely shit. incompetent, which he is. Shit, 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 shit. Revelio. Okay. So. Okay, hold on. That's nine. The hand, uh, that weird, what is that? So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five plus nine is fourteen. We need three, zero, one, two, three. We need that. Uh, so what do I do this? What? How do I how do I change the dials? Revelio. Accio. How do I interact with this thing? Use a spell or item, you must first add it to your spell set. Add Incendio now. Over, over Incendio. Corner, 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 fast, no place it. Incendio.
Incendio. That didn't help me. Damn. To unlock door in a Hogwarts. symbols on the wall okay so zero one two three Okay, 11 plus, what the hell is that? That's 11 plus two, so what, uh, 12, 13? We need eight, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a spider there, there we go. Nope, okay, so we've unlocked that one right there. And then we need uh, the Hydra, and the Hydra, is gonna be on the other one, but the other one isn't here, so if only black to look the Rebellion. Then we could get rid of muggle like around. The hydra's right here. That was it there. That should be it. Hogwarts hasn't been the same. Um Yeah, okay. We got some weird-ass goggles. And a painting. And that's it. Okay. And it said that this was the location of... Image Revelio Accio. What is this? What does this butterfly thing mean? That's another quest, I know it. Find the location depicting in the painting. Reveal the image, whatever it look at it. I should search from this so Okay, like moths to a flame. We found the moth. Can I walk up to it? No. Can I grab it? Leviosa. So this is depicted in the painting. Revelio. I found the fucking moth. What to do with the moth? Damn it, man.
All right, so I'm looking it up right now because it's not like it's telling me any directive. I don't. The painting has revealed an image of what appears to be the location of the center. I should search the area so see what I can find. And it doesn't tell me I need to grab the moth or do anything. Damn it, man. Walk up to this moth as you see me do here, cast Lumos again, and let it follow you back to the painting right up. Okay, Lumos. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The head moth. right back to that painting it will go inside the painting will unlock and you basically completed the quest now you will want to head right up the steps just as i do here and speak with lenora to turn the quest in and get your ex <laughs> i even knew so there was a connection i should tell lenora that i solved the puzzle of that empty frame all right lenora i solved the mystery of that painting you did how I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. Orange eye and mute goggles. Damn. Yeah, we don't we don't want glasses. I like the way I look. I don't need that shit. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, no thank you. Uh, quest? Ocean class, locate. Alright. Revelio! downstairs too. Alright, let's do this real quick. Getting it done. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. 
The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. All right. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay. All right. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. My so... parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the whooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Whoop feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared window. I don't see a feather. Revelio! Where's the feather? There it is. Fission is key when brewing potions. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Sweet. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Oh, so this doesn't take that long to uh, to brew at all. It's like 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's 
going on? Bruin and Dwarf. Damn. 30 seconds? You just want me to sit here and wait and watch this thing happen? Wish there was like a fast... No. That's okay. We'll give it time. Covering them with a durable rocky skin. And now we add the mallow sweet and what does this do? That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Not again! Oh! Bell! Dragon duck! What happened? <laughs> All right. Well done, Professor. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan Weld potion on their first try. Well done. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. And in Gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Flying off the shelves. Collect Chris's flying books from the library. Okay, we do that. I guess we'll do that next. Oh, my rope's again. Ooh. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna have, uh, have some interesting quests pop up soon. Um... I have had my fun, and I am very, very intrigued. Um, the game has, has done really well so far, and I, I am just grateful that they made something like this. So, I'm going to see you guys on the next episode. I'm going to end it here, and uh, I'll catch you later. I gotta go to work. Ta-da-la!